And now it's time for the Celebrity Spot with Lori G and her special guest. Welcome to the show. I have a very special guest on today, a model, a blogger, and a CP advocate, Katie Holmes. How are you doing, Katie? I'm doing good. How are you doing? I'm doing great. That's good. I have some questions for you. Um, That's great. The first question is, what inspired you to create your CP blog in, on Instagram? Well, a lot of people have always like thought of like cerebral palsy as a negative thing mm -hmm. and I want to prove those types of people wrong so that's when 13 year old me decided to post a CP blog account because I wanted people to see you know the difficulties of CP but also the advantages such as going on the BBC but like also showing them my downsides like my surgeries right that's amazing what's your favorite blog post so far um my favorite blog post I made one about cerebral palsy awareness day mm -hmm. and I just needed to educate a lot of people on what cerebral palsy is and how it affects like my everyday life and I feel like that blog is really important to me because I wanted to show people that we are you know more than our just than our disabilities and that they don't define us mm -hmm. I completely agree and to show the, like, haters wrong, you know? Yeah. You're super independent, and I love that. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, for people who don't know, what is SDR surgery? Well, in simple words, it's basically just a big surgery I had when I was really young, seven years old. And the doctor who did the surgery had to cut a nerve in my spine that connected all the way up to my brain um so he could the tightness from my legs mm -hmm. and I feel like the surgery really helped me because when I was younger I used to stand on my tiptoes a lot and now I stand really flat and just like any ordinary person yes I completely relate um when I was younger I had a similar surgery called um tendon release surgery and I would stand on my tippy toes and they would, they had to take away part of my heel. And then I would, after that, I st um, stand pretty straight. <laughs> Amazing. And I also wear braces, leg braces. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. What's like, what, what, um, what is it like to model in London Fashion Week? Um, modeling in London Fashion Week was absolutely crazy because it was like my first actual fashion week. And I remember not used to it. And I remember thinking in my head, oh God, what if I just fall over? And then I got really nervous, but then I finished it and it was absolutely amazing. And I think that was the day that I thought that something positive came out of my cerebral palsy. And it really shocked me because I never thought that my cerebral palsy would leave me to doing catwalks. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. And you look so pretty in that photo. Oh, thank you. <laughs> you're welcome. Um, so you're part of this modeling agency that employs people with disabilities, right? Yep. That's amazing. What's the name of it um, for people who don't know? Um, the name is this, D-I-S underscore me underscore Couture. They're actually amazing people. I feel like they're the people who have like started this whole thing and I'm really grateful for them for that. Oh, that's awesome. What are some great places for people with disabilities that they can travel in the UK? Um, if you want to have like a family day out, like any typical family does, then I recommend going to like Blackpool or literally any local 
beer theme park near you because I feel like they're really accessible for people like me who have like crutches or people in wheelchairs yeah which is why I love going to those places because they really care about the people there and they don't want us to stop having fun just because we have a disability you know right I love that and (laughs) you can be my tour guide when I go to London Oh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> oh, that'll be awesome. <laughs> um, I also saw that the Spice Girls did a video a video for you on Instagram. That's awesome. It, was, um, it wasn't, have you heard of Little Mix? Yes. It was them. It was them? Oh, yes. I thought it was the Spice Girls. I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I love Little Mix too, so... Yeah, I remember freaking out over the video because, you know, they're such a popular girl group. I never thought my family would be like recognized for that big of a thing. And it was just honestly the most amazing day of my life. Oh, that's awesome. I wish any celebrity would do a video for me. That would be cool. (laughs) Amazing. Yeah. Where can my listeners find you on social media? Um, I do have an Instagram and it is called e underscore homes underscore CP. And that's where I post like all about my CP and my daily life and like the advantages and like also the disadvantages and just like my ups and downs. And yeah, it's really good. I love your blog. It's super informative and relatable. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, so if you have any advice for anyone who has a disability and wants to be more confident, what would you say to them? Um, my advice would to be, you know, to just do it and like just start a blog on your own. Mm-hmm. Um, because you never know where it might lead you. You know, all my life, I've been told, like, no, you can't do this, you can't do that, by, like, other people everywhere. And I really feel like my blog is, like, a place where I can, like, prove them wrong. So yeah. I would just be yourself, and you would definitely go places. I completely agree, and I love that you're so confident, and I just love that you're so independent, and you want to prove the haters wrong <laughs> yeah, definitely yes i also wanted to thank you for coming on the show today and please come back oh i'd love to hear thank you so much for having me you're welcome um for the listeners this has been the celebrity spot with an interview with katie holmes from the cp blog Bye, everyone. And now it's time for the Celebrity Spot with Lori G and her special guest.